You know that exciting feeling that courses through your veins when you step into the unknown or you start something new? You get that thrilling feeling of not knowing quite what's to come, but you're excited for it. To capture that amazing sensation, we have a new pattern for you, Frizzin. Frizzin by Haley Campbell is a sumptuous knit shawl pattern designed for the adventurous beginner. The really unique thing about this shawl is that it uses a creative and super simple technique to create these beautiful shifting waves. They almost resemble a flock of birds in flight or even ripples on an ocean ready to carry you away on an exciting new adventure. The shawl begins with this rippling twisted section which is designed to mimic that feeling you get when you're excited to start something new. It's almost like the shawl is anticipating what's to come. And the body of the shawl is simple stockinette stitch with a garter stitch border. And then you finish with more of those beautiful rippling waves. The pattern is super soothing and comforting to make, and it's actually really easy to customize. And all the instructions for that are in the pattern for you. One thing that I think would be kind of cool is to turn this into a mood shawl. So let's say you're feeling a bit more excited and you wanna extend the wave section to capture that feeling, feel free. You could even make the entire shawl with just the wave. I think that would be incredible. So depending on the number of waves that you create, you can look back on this project and see the journey of your emotions as you progressed through it. And as you move through the different stitch patterns, you're also going to be changing colors. I love the subtle, almost metallic like look of this color palette. It's called Dwelling Hues and it's dyed onto our pearlescent fingering yarn for a beautiful drape and a shimmering glow. But choose whatever colors you're feeling in the moment. Just make it an expression of yourself and your journey. And I am going to be giving away a set of this dwelling hues today so if you would like to enter just subscribe to our youtube channel and leave a comment below letting me know a time in your life when you experienced that thrill of starting something new you can download the pattern and you can get the yarn at expressionfiberarts.com while you're there be sure to sign up for email and text update for weekly free knit and crochet patterns let me show you how to make this pattern first you're going to cast on your desired number of stitches using the long tail cast on method i'm just going to do 25. We're gonna start with our garter stitch border, which just means to knit every stitch, every row. You're gonna to wanna to work 10 rows. I'm just gonna work a few. Now we're gonna get into the section where we work those beautiful spin stitches. So we're gonna begin with working our garter stitch borders and stockinette stitch in the center. And when you're working flat, here's what that looks like. For row 11, you're just gonna knit across. you're going to start by knitting the first six stitches for your garter stitch border four five six then you're going to place a stitch marker just make it a little easier bring your yarn to the front and then you're going to purl across until you have six stitches left one two three four five six so I've got two more. Then you're gonna place another stitch marker. This will mark our other border. Yarn to the back and then you're gonna knit those final six stitches. You're gonna repeat those rows until you have 20 rows total. I'm just gonna repeat them once and then we'll move into the spin stitch row. Row 21 for you, you're gonna start with a knit six for your border. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and slip your stitch marker. Then you're gonna repeat across your row, knit three, two, three, and we're gonna slip the next seven stitches to another DPN, double pointed needle. 
So go ahead and grab that, slide these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So some rows will ask you to spin your needle clockwise, which will look like this. Sometimes it'll say counterclockwise, so you would spin it this way. So for this row, we're gonna go ahead and spin it clockwise. And we're gonna knit these stitches in reverse. So starting here, and we're gonna knit those seven stitches. So I find it doesn't matter too much if you work into the front leg or the back leg of the stitch, just so you're consistent. I'm just working into the front. Then you can drop that other needle for now. Now we're gonna knit three, so we're back to knitting on our regular needle. So knit one, two, and three. So you'll repeat that all the way across. You're gonna get lots of these little ripples. When you reach your stitch marker, go ahead and slide it across and then knit those final six border stitches. So then you're gonna to continue to work more rows that have stockinette for the center and garter stitch for the border, working your spin stitch rows as you come to them in the pattern. So you can see our stockinette stitch body, our garter stitch border, and then we have that occasional spin stitch, which twists our stitches and makes these beautiful little ripples. And that's literally it. You're gonna continue repeating those rows. When you get to the end, you finish with a garter stitch border and voila, you have a beautiful and unique shawl that I think you will love. I hope you enjoy knitting your own version of Frizen because life's greatest adventures are meant to be embraced with open arms and a shiver of excitement. Happy knitting, my friend. I will see you next week with another beautiful design. Bye. Suppose you're Ethra Franklin. <laughs> Someone said that on a video. No folks, we don't disrespect the grades. No folks, it's not funny. It's not funny, folks. <laughs> you thought it was funny. Right. Now I'm, I'm all watery. Gross.